Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. Get ready to witness some of the most breathtaking bridge buildings and engineering projects in this video. The Erks Viaduct, located in the southwest of Tenerife Island, is an impressive arch bridge with a suspended intermediate deck designed to connect the municipalities of Atahe and Guia de Isora while preserving the delicate Barranco de Erx landscape. The project was an integral part of the island's road network extension, aiming to reduce travel time for over 10,000 vehicles passing through it daily and facilitating access to the port of Fonsalia. To construct such a monumental infrastructure while safeguarding the natural environment, the construction team employed innovative techniques and sustainable practices. Notably, all the material excavated during the construction process was recycled, repurposed, and used to create concrete, asphalt, aggregate, riprap, and rock fill, minimizing the environmental impact of the project. The construction of the Erx Viaduct took place in several stages, each requiring precise planning and execution by the Ferro Vial Agroman team. Excavation and Foundation the initial phase involved excavation works to prepare the foundation for the viaduct. Simultaneously in the town of Carbonara Scrivia, in the Piemont region of Italy, the tubes required for the arches were formed using a cold bending process. Additionally, in the German city of Hamburg, the stay cables, which would support the deck, were manufactured. Assembly and Formation of Arches once the tubes were bent, they were transported to a workshop in Seville, Spain, where they were assembled to create the massive arches. This metallic structure, weighing over 500 tons, also included other components necessary for the bridge's stability. Transportation to Tenerife The fully formed arches and deck components were transported to the port of Santa Cruz de Tenerife. From there, special transportation was arranged to move these colossal structures to the construction site. Final Assembly Upon arrival at the site, the construction team meticulously assembled and welded the arches and divided the deck into four sections. The assembly process involved joining the two arches, attaching abutment beams, transverse beams, longitudinal beams, and keystones to create the final structure. The result was the awe-inspiring Erx Viaduct, with two arches, each weighing 120 tons and spanning an impressive 110 meters. Upon completion on December 18, 2015, the Erx Viaduct became an essential part of the 21 km road stretch connecting Atahe to Santiago del Teta. The viaduct's presence significantly reduced travel times for thousands of daily commuters, streamlining transportation, and boosting connectivity in the region. As an architectural marvel, the Erx Viaduct stands not only as a symbol of engineering prowess, but also as a testament to the importance of harmonizing infrastructure development with environmental conservation. By preserving the delicate Barranco de Erx landscape, and implementing sustainable construction practices, this viaduct stands as an example of how modern engineering can coexist with the natural world. This national primary road serves as a partial ring road, encircling the southern suburbs of Cork City in Ireland. Stretching over a length of 15.45 kilometers, 9.60 miles, it provides a vital transportation link connecting various important destinations within the city. As part of the South Ring Road flyover scheme at Sarsfield Roundabout in Cork, traffic diversions were put in place to accommodate the construction of the Girder Bridge. The Girder Bridge, spanning an impressive 39 meters in length and weighing up to 105 tons each. Two cranes, the CHL 350 and a 500-ton crane, 
were utilized for the assembly of the N40 South Ring Road flyover scheme at Sarsfield Roundabout in Cork. These cranes played a crucial role in the construction process, facilitating the efficient and safe installation of the flyovers. With their impressive lifting capacities, the CHL 350 and the 500-ton crane proved essential in ensuring the successful completion of the project within the designated area. As part of the South Ring Road flyover scheme, a 2.5-kilometer, 1.6-mile flyover was constructed at the Kinsale Road roundabout. This particular flyover was completed ahead of schedule, impressively delivering a significant infrastructure upgrade six months earlier than anticipated. The project involved an investment of 55 million euros and encompasses three lanes eastbound and two lanes westbound, ensuring smoother traffic flow in both directions. Additionally, the flyover includes four on-off ramps that seamlessly connect the dual carriageway to the roundabout, further enhancing accessibility and convenience for motorists. The completion of the flyover at the Kinsale Road roundabout has had a positive impact on the overall transportation infrastructure in the area. It has not only reduced congestion, but has also enhanced road safety, as the improved traffic flow minimizes the risk of accidents and traffic-related incidents. Furthermore, the upgraded infrastructure provides a more efficient and reliable route for commuters, residents, and businesses, resulting in improved connectivity and economic benefits for the region. These molds are made of steel and are precisely engineered to reproduce the desired shape and size of the arch. Concrete mixing, high-quality concrete, is used to cast the arch. Concrete mixes are carefully formulated to achieve the required strength, durability and workability. Reinforcing position, reinforcing bars, also known as rebar, are placed in the mold according to the specifications. Concrete casting, concrete is poured into the mold, covering the reinforcement. Demolition, after the curing period, the molds are removed, revealing the precast concrete arches. The installation of the Babo arch system begins with the precise positioning of the precast concrete arches. A dedicated crane is used to lift and place the arches into position, enabling a quick and efficient assembly without the need for temporary supports. This process significantly reduces construction time and minimizes disruption to traffic and the surrounding environment. One of the most significant advantages of the Babo arch system is that it eliminates the need for expansion joints in the road that runs over the arches. This feature results in a seamless and smooth surface for motorists, improving road safety and comfort. To ensure the longevity and durability of the structure, appropriate waterproofing and sealing measures are implemented if required. Butyl rubber tape is placed into the tapered edges of butt joints along the outside surface of the arches. External rubber sealing bands are then applied over the tape in adjoining concrete surfaces, and mastic is used to adhere the bands to the concrete effectively. This meticulous sealing process prevents water penetration and protects the arches from potential damage caused by moisture. After the arches are securely in place and sealed, backfilling takes place. The area around the arches is carefully filled and compacted to provide additional support and stability. This step ensures that the arches can withstand the weight and pressures they will experience from the road and traffic above.
The electrification of the Midland Main Line has been a significant undertaking, requiring the reconstruction of several structures along the route to accommodate the new 25,000 volt overhead line equipment safely. Among the structures in need of reconstruction was Ford End Road Bridge, located to the south of Bedford Central Station. This 19-span brick arch bridge carries Ford End Road over the Midland Main Line, and its third span from the west had insufficient clearance for the electrification project. The third span from the west was identified for removal and replacement with a modern bridge deck constructed from pre-cast concrete units. The reconstruction process demanded precise execution to ensure seamless integration with the existing structure and to provide sufficient clearance for the overhead line equipment. Throughout the demolition and reconstruction process, sensitive monitoring equipment and track protection measures were employed to safeguard the surrounding railway infrastructure. Safety and the preservation of the existing railway operations were of utmost importance during the entire project. The reconstruction began with the careful removal of the third span from the west, making way for the installation of the new bridge deck made of pre-cast concrete units. These modern components not only provided the necessary clearance, but also ensured the durability and longevity of the reconstructed bridge. In the subsequent stages, new parapets were skillfully craned into position. These parapets were thoughtfully designed to match the aesthetics of the original structure, as they were refaced in brick to blend seamlessly with the rest of the existing bridge. Preserving the bridge's architectural integrity was a key consideration in the reconstruction process. The zipper truck system revolutionizes tunnel construction, drawing inspiration from the ancient Roman arch building technique, yet employing 21st century innovation for unmatched speed and efficiency. Developed by LockBlock Limited, this cutting edge system allows the rapid assembly of freestanding tunnels without the need for mortar or permanent support work. At the heart of this groundbreaking approach lies the arch lock system, which utilizes specially designed building blocks with interlocking pegs. These blocks are placed on the wider front end of the zipper truck, a custom-built vehicle by LockBlock Limited, featuring a tapered metal core covered with rollers. The blocks are stacked and interlocked, forming a sturdy frame held together by the arched rollers of the truck. Once the key centerpiece, known as the keystone, is put in place, the zipper truck initiates its slow forward motion, facilitating the gradual shifting of the arch blocks into their permanent positions. This movement ensures that the tunnel structure self-supports and compresses under its own weight, eliminating the need for workers to remain beneath the structure during construction, thus enhancing safety. The advantages of the zipper truck system are manifold. Construction time is drastically reduced, up to 90%, saving both time and money for customers undertaking tunnel projects. Incredibly, a quarter mile of tunnel can be erected in under 24 hours, showcasing the exceptional speed of this method. While the zipper truck system for constructing domes offers numerous advantages, it is essential to consider its potential disadvantages to make informed decisions regarding its implementation. Limited design flexibility. The interlocking blocks used in the zipper truck system may limit the design possibilities for the dome. Unlike traditional construction methods, which allow for more intricate and customized designs, the use of pre-designed blocks might restrict architectural creativity.
Material limitations. The blocks used in the zipper truck system are typically made of specific materials suitable for interlocking and self-supporting structures. This limitation might impact the choice of materials available for the dome construction, potentially affecting its durability and longevity, uniformity and aesthetics. Due to the standardized blocks used in the zipper truck system, the resulting dome may lack the uniqueness and individuality that some projects demand. If a project requires a more customized or aesthetically diverse design, this system may not be the ideal choice. Structural limitations. While the self-supporting nature of the dome is a benefit during construction, it might introduce structural limitations in terms of load-bearing capacity and span. The zipper truck system may not be suitable for constructing domes with exceptionally large spans or heavy loads.